what is up guys welcome to Rapids Epic Gaming and today today I'm bringing you a brand new video in this video I am going to show you guys the review and pretty much the summary of the 5700 XD by Sapphire the polls edition I have two pulses when it comes to the graphics card from um, from AMD I have the Vega 56 nano pulse which is a beast that's a fucking card it plays everything on 1440p you can even do 4k at 60 fps if you tweak the settings that's for sure but for destiny 2 you know man throwing in there maybe some high settings no anti-aliasing or times 2 it'll give you some pretty decent 4k performance here yeah. and then i have the rx 580 and it's pretty legit dude the pulse edition has always been a go-to for me so for the price it's only going to be 410 dollars and it's going to have a better core clock it's going to have a better boost clock it's going to be the same memory clock but i'm pretty sure you can overclock that under both the gpu with eight gigabytes with gdr6 256 bit and they have some really cool um benchmarks here so we're going to be taking a look into battlefield 5 one of them that was uh, really shown off by nvidia and you're going to see how the sapphire rx 5700 xd pulls pulls ahead of most of the nvidia cards too. look at this it even beats my 2080 bro i bought this card for 800 dollars i had i have the asus dual 2080 on one of my rigs well my gaming rig it has a 2080 and it beats it bro for half the price that is insane dude i am going to get a sapphire 5700 xd or the asus strix but it's gonna be a 5700 xd dude that's gonna be for sure even a 4k dude this thing this little thing gets 71 fps it beats my 2080 by a by a, i mean like it can be like margin of error right here but it still beats it bro for a fraction of the price i mean i guess the 2080 has to drop in price to like 600 dollars or whatever another one that has to be metro exodus that nvidia really showed off here the 5700 xd is thus really respectable beating the 2070 and the 2060 my uh the 2080 does pull ahead by quite a bit 4k just just kicks this game every single gpu is gonna it's gonna fall to this g to this game dude every single gpu i don't care what you have but even look at that 60 fps with the super dude i mean if you overclock the 2080 you can get 60 fps i've done it it just gets really hot the overclocking it, it is pretty nice here. This isn't the most space on the seven animator. You guys already knew that. Maximum overclock comparison. It's gonna be two gigahertz on the average GPU clock. That is that is amazing, dude. Maximum memory clock. That's gonna be 1900 megahertz. That is nuts, dude. That is nuts, I tell you. So overclock performance on on engine heaven. It, if you overclock it, you do get 3.6 percent more performance from from your car. If you underbolt it, I'm pretty sure you can pull even more. I say like about like five percent maybe. So it, it is a pretty nice card for the price. For only ten dollars more, you get a better cooler, which is gonna give you better performance. So the the clock speeds and the power limits. So the clock frequencies and thermal analysis. The average clock it was 1911. Not too bad, dude. You have some spikes here and there. Temperature only got up to 75. The fan spits they only got to 48 percent which is really nice it's not going to be loud at all and the bolts it's going to be 1.131 that, that's not bad but i'm pretty sure you can underbolt that though i'm pretty sure you're going to be able to underbolt that really good dude i'm really looking forward to that see you can uh, you can you can underbolt it right here so 1.006 to 1.2 bolts which will make a lot it will make a big difference trust me i did it with my vega 56 and at least i got like 10 15 percent more uh, improvement on that to so the value conclusion the sapphire fit rx 57 xc pulls this price uh, at you at the usd 409 dollars at 10 dollar premium over reference design heat noise the levels greatly improve for amd reference design that it's for sure very reasonable price it is 10 dollars and nothing for that cooler that you're going to be getting it's even cheaper than adding like the watches and ordering of amazon and just having the blower style it's very quiet in gaming quite vials idle fan stop memory overclock and improve backplate included that's pretty nice dual bios that's pretty cool too microsoft xbox game pass for the pc for three months included i already got it when i bought my 36 and my 3600x pci express 4.0 
I'm trying to get that, dude. I'm trying to get the an X570 so I can enjoy those. I have a I have an X470, uh, MSI Gaming Plus, and a and a B450 Strix motherboard. Seven nanometer production process supports for DC 1.2a enables 8K 60 hertz. That's pretty cool if you're doing video editing and stuff. Uh, the tricks boost fidelity fx and radio anti-lag memory overclocking limited by adjustment range okay memory not overclocked no hardware accelerator ray tracing this i don't really care about ray tracing i have it on my rtx 2080 but i don't use it, it just every game doesn't look much better to me for the hit that you're going to take in performance maybe in like two three years from now it is going to be better implemented i rush out there and spend 800 dollars on the rtx 2080 because i wanted to have ray tracing and then i got it and then only one game had it and it kicked its ass and it wasn't really good you can really you can see the reflections here but it's it's not worth it dude so the 5700 xd it's the better buy i'm gonna be picking one up here soon within the next few weeks maybe i have to like help my wife with some bills and stuff and then I'm going there, dude. I've been upgrading my other PC to to the new Ryzen CPUs, new motherboards, more RAM. I got uh, four terabytes of NVMe, so that was kind of expensive. Now we go for the graphics cards. I don't, didn't really worry about the graphics cards. I have, like I said, I have a Vega 56 and an RTX 2080, but I'm gonna be passing the Vega 56 to my wife. But that is it for this review, dude. This car promises a lot of good stuff with the reference. Not the reference cooler, but the AIB partners coolers, dude. I knew this graphics card was going to be something special from the beginning, dude. And I'm really excited to get it, dude. But that is it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And like always, epic gaming out.